Hi, I'm Annette. Welcome to the kitchen. Today we're going to be making one of my very favorite desserts, a chocolate tort. Alright, I've got the oven preheating at 425 degrees, and now we're going to go ahead and prepare the pan. We're using an 8 inch springform pan, and we're going to line the bottom with aluminum foil. This is heavy duty foil. All right, so you can see the outline of the pan. I'm just gonna slip the collar over it and then go ahead and close it there. Now I'll remove, I don't recommend using a pan release or a grease relief because it has flour in it and this you just want to have butter. Just want to use the butter. And we'll do a little bit up the sides. And this is going to help the cake release from the pan better. And again, it just needs to be a light film. It doesn't need to be anything really thick. All right, this tort is gonna bake in a bain marie or a water bath. And I have two pieces of heavy duty aluminum foil. Put the pan in the middle. And then just bring up the sides. And this will prevent the water from getting into the pan. So we don't want it seep seeping in. All right, now we're ready to make the batter. And I'm using a Belgian gray chocolate. It's Calibo, which is really one of my favorites. And this is semi-sweet chocolate. So make sure the chocolate you get is a really excellent quality. All right, we're gonna add the butter. There are two different ways that you can melt the butter and the chocolate. One is over a bain-marie, which is over simmering water. I'm going to do it in the microwave. So I'm going to use 15 second spurts at 100% power, and between each spurt I'm going to stir it. And I'm going to melt it until almost all of the calais are melted but we'll still have a few that aren't and we'll stir those out and make it smooth. I'm melting it in the microwave, like I said, and you can see it's almost all melted. We've got a few chips that are still solid. So what I'm gonna do is just stir it and the warmth from the chocolate and from the bowl will melt those final chips out. You want to really be careful when you're melting chocolate so that it doesn't burn. Nothing worse than burning really good chocolate. All right, I think that looks pretty good. We need to warm the eggs. So I'm gonna go ahead and put them in the mixing bowl and break them up. We're going to whisk. So now we have a pan of simmering water or our bain marie. And in case you're wondering, I put the aluminum foil around the edge so that my pan doesn't go into the water. So I don't want my mixing bowl in the water. You just want to warm the eggs. We don't want to cook them. The eggs are warm now, and they're kind of frothy. So I'm gonna go ahead and take them off the bain marie. So next we're gonna go ahead and put this on the mixer. Now that the eggs are warm, we're gonna go ahead and use our whisk and mix, mix it on high for five minutes. And that's so that we can put some volume into these egg whites. So here we go. Do them on high. Our 
eggs have tripled in volume, which is what we wanted. And this is what they should look like. So nice and fluffy, lighter in color. So now we're going to begin adding them to the melted chocolate and butter. And we'll do this a little bit at the time. So I'll do it in thirds. And I'm going to combine them with a whisk. We don't want to deflate the eggs, so we're just kind of folding them in gently. If you've ever had a truffle, that's very much what this tort tastes like. It's so yummy and chocolatey. Very smooth, creamy. And now I'll just finish it with the spash, spatula to make sure that everything's in. And this looks really good. All right, so let's go ahead and pour it into the pan. Move it out with your spatula. And it's ready for the oven. We're going to put it in the preheated oven at 425 and we're going to let it bake for five minutes and at the five minute mark we're going to put a piece of buttered foil over the top and it'll continue to bake for another 10 minutes. This is also going to bake in a bain-marie. Okay, so my pan is the springform pan is eight inches. I have an 11 inch pan that I'm going to put it in. And I've got boiling water that I'm going to put just about to the halfway mark on the pan and then we'll put this in the oven. Bring this back into the center. Okay, now it's ready for the oven. Alright, so we've just taken it out of the oven and we're going to take the, this is the foil with the butter that covered it up the last 10 minutes. Now it's in the pan of water baked in the water bath. So I'm going to go ahead and take it out. It's still real wobbly and that's as it should be. Then I'm going to let it rest for 45 minutes and then after 45 minutes I'm going to put it in the refrigerator, cover it with some saran wrap and then I'll put it in the refrigerator and leave it overnight before I unmold it. It really should be in the refrigerator for about three hours before you try to take it out. The chocolate needs to set and get firm. The tort has been in the refrigerator overnight, so it's nice and cold. I'm using a warm, damp cloth to make it easier to get my knife blade, which is also hot, in between the tort and the springform pan. So you want to go all the way around with your knife. Go ahead and open the pan and remove the collar. I'm putting a piece of saran wrap over the top and flipping it over and then dislodge the bottom and now I'm going to turn it right side up.